Greetings and thankful Thursday. I know that it's way later than it usually is. I happen to be off today, but I still wanted to touch base with everybody. If you are into summer like I am, hopefully you're out and about and have remembered your shades. Remember, I didn't have my shades, I think last week or two weeks ago. Um, but hopefully you have yours. And if not, hopefully either way, you're staying cool and hydrated. Let's make sure that we are hydrating ourselves in this heat. Today's devotional is coming from the Song of Solomon, chapter two, verse four. And it says, he brought me into the banqueting house and his banner over me was love. I love that so much. You know, the book, I want to make sure to be clear, the book of Solomon, the Song of Solomon is about romantic love. So we are talking about, you know, the love between a man and a woman. However, um, I always add, you know, that extra emphasis because the, the Lord is also known as the lover of our souls, right? And for him, Speaking as a woman who has been in love with the Lord for almost two decades now, um, you know, I can tell you that his love is an everlasting love. It's the kind of love that covers us. And the body of Christ, I'm sorry, the church is known as the body of Christ. And we're also known as the bride of Christ. So this, you know, being brought into the banqueting hall, we're talking about entering that wonderful wedding reception that we're going to have in heaven. And our way in is through Jesus. And Jesus, of course, is uh, the banner that covers us. His love, I, I refer to him for anybody who has ever seen me reference, but I refer to Jesus sometimes as the great love of God. And it is that great love that he has poured out and poured in, given us in human form, that we might be able to uh, really have that time and that space with our Father in heaven. So I just want to, you know, kind of encourage us today that when we consider the banner that we have, the covering over us that is the great love of God, we want to be grateful for that um, because he is the one who presents us flawless and faultless because, not because we are, right? He covers up our guilt and our shame, though, because he is flawless and faultless. And, you know, this book gives actually a specific warning about not awakening, awakening love before it's time. Um, so check out that warning in Song of Solomon. But when you do have that special someone, I hope that it is somebody who will cover you in love and prayer. Amen. We, young at heart, are not on summer break. So I will see everybody tonight at 7. Love to all.